So I'll just introduce Lane and Dolan, who's also working, to talk about some CAD in 12D and also a drainage spreadsheet that's being used over there to load data into 12D. Thank you, Lee. I always enjoy coming up here after the conference dinner. Um, we're going to do this uh, presentation in two parts. Uh, both myself and Dylan are going to do bits and pieces. I'm just going to do the talking and the PowerPoint, and uh, Dylan's going to attempt to do something pretty live in that. Um, Peter Tatum across me outside, and he says, do not mention anything about whatever. I don't know. But I have got the script here, and I will not vary from it, uh, deviate from it. Um, we're going to be talking about the um, New Zealand spreadsheets to drainage. Um, what um, sort of happened is, uh, oh yes, hold on, you want to on yet? there we go, oh shit, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Who put that up there, Peter? <laughs> One nil. <laughs> shit. Um, uh, what is it? Um, uh, it's an option to uh, get uh, data from, uh, you know, like as built data or something like that, or uh, constructed data into 12D as a drainage string. Uh, as you know, once you get um, a drainage string in 12D, you can start doing other things like your long plotting, your plan plotting, etc. Uh, so uh, we needed to formulate some way of getting this data in, th in three dimensions and all the rest of it. So, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Peter, what have you been up to, mate? <laughs> Winners are grinners, eh? Well done. Um, uh, who's it for? Uh, well, essentially, uh, anybody that needs to get their data out. Um, in New Zealand, uh, the councils require a lot of as-built data. Uh, unfortunately, it's in plan form. Uh, uh, some of the councils are now looking at GIS and all the rest of it. But uh, you, know, you, you have to create the long sections and plan plots. And as you know, that, that can take a lot of time to do. Uh, a lot of effort of rebuilding different things. Um, you know, a few councils are now starting to look at the GIS, taking it in electronically, and that, and that is actually going very, very well. So. <laughs> Another one, Peter. Um, uh, anyway, um, background. Um, uh, why did we do it? I had a phone call from a uh, guy, Hemi Rangi, for you Australians, that loosely translate to Johnny Smith, and um, he just says, look, mate, I've got to do these plans and that, and I had a look at them and that, and I thought, well, uh, gee whiz, if we can get it into a, uh, uh, into a drainage string, it's going to make your life a lot easier, and I'll be able to sell more drainage packages. Uh, so he, um, we, we sort of looked at how we could do it and all the rest of it, and uh, we come up with a couple of solutions. Um, and then... Also, um, with um, uh, Christchurch, uh, the earthquake and bits and pieces and that, there was a requirement to actually get the drainage strings into 12D as well, uh, so they could also um, do redesign and all the rest of it. Oh. <laughs> Better than Queensland, Peter. <laughs> Even though you do live in New South Wales. <laughs> um, uh, how did we do it? Um, well, Rob Graham was able to help us out in that. Um, he had a few hidden um, options there that we would have never, ever found. You know, who would have looked at drainage sewer, or sorry, design drainage sewer, more version 6, pits and pipes, but um, that was the uh, interface that we had to use in that to actually start getting our data in. Blake was uh, really cool because um, with the spreadsheet that we actually created, uh, he wrote us a couple of macros to assist and make it a lot easier to get the data in. And we also, uh, Dolan and myself, we uh, made uh, booklets and videos and all the rest of it to make it a lot easier. And that and we've um, got that all up on our website. Um, oh. <laughs> Peter, I couldn't find the tiddlywinks one day eh, that we bit yet to. So, um, what what sort of um, data do we need? Uh, es essentially, uh, the stuff in the green, you know, like just um, you just need a line number, uh, a manhole ID, uh, and also northern eastern and a lid level, and that is enough to get it actually into uh, 12D. But if you uh, put the uh, added extra value in there, for example, your depths, your inverts, your pipe sizes, your manhole sizes and things like that, you'll get the extra added value. But not only that, you're not limited to just that information. You can put any of your own attributes in there, and that will go through to tw uh, into the uh, drainage string as attributes. And as you all know, that attributes are a very powerful thing with inside 12D. You can use those to plot out in your log sections, your cross sections, your plans, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, uh, with the Christchurch City Council, I had a, uh, a lady there uh, working for Becca, and she had like um, post-earthquake 
uh, heights and pre-earthquake heights and things like that all showing up and they were able to um, generate a lot of information in their uh, long sections. Uh, so yeah, the, so all of those attributes can not only be plotted, but they can also be passed through the GIS systems. Uh, how do Aussies get it, eh? I, I shouldn't really do this because they got me pretty pissed last night. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, uh, without further ado, I'll just pass you on to um, uh, Dylan. So yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, as Lane said, um, it's been around for a long, long time. I mean, I would never have found it in the version 6. It was just I happened to be Skyping Rob and saying this is what we want to do. And he says, oh, yeah, go and try, the, try on this. And um, what we found was it's always had the ability to do it, but we really didn't have any formal documentation to make it easy. So the first step that we did is we just created a spreadsheet, something that's nice and pretty uh, that our users can go out. You can give it to your drainage engineers as they're actually doing it, and they can pre-fill out the spreadsheet for uh, your ASPORTS. So this is what our example spreadsheet looks like. Or well, as Lane said, all you need is the X or the Y or the Z, and you can put the depth in and the depth out, uh, manhole types, pipe types, and all of these other columns here, you can just put an unlimited amount of your own attributes, the information on those pits or the pipes straight away. This is the macro that Blake did for us. What 12D needs, this is the pretty stuff, what 12D needs is this. We need those attributes in the particular names in the particular order, and it'll automatically create our drainage strings for us. So, I had no idea how to write a macro in um, Excel, so Blake wrote this nice little thing, and I'll show you how it works. Uh, the Christchurch City Council, this is, it's not a big data set, it's about uh, 40, 45 manholes, an example of what they've been doing down in Christchurch. They have their line name to join it all together, they have all of their information, they have their particular pipe types, their manhole types, their manhole shapes, etc. And they have specific requirements for data for the air attributes to put on these things so they can get them out to GIS and get them onto a drainage uh, plan or a drainage long section. So this is actually one that's live, it's uh, there and filled out. And all you essentially do is you fill out the pretty stuff, you go to the run macro button, that'll more, that automatically fills it through into the um, uh, stuff that 12D needs. And then to get that from a spreadsheet into a 3D drainage network, I go copy, control C, and then in 12D, the important thing is to set your defaults up in the first place. So when it creates these drainage networks, it's going to have some sort of pipe types and pit types to start with. So if I set my manhole defaults, and then I set my pipe defaults, just some sort of pipes that are in there. And then we have this toolbar that we've created, because I think it's way too hard to go design, drainage sewer, more version 6 pit pipe design interface. Okay, and that's the function that we're using. So it'll pull up exactly the same thing. And this is the function, this is the macro that runs it. I'm going to take this data from a spreadsheet clipboard, I'm going to put it into a model called SS as built, and I go paste, and it's done. So what we have now is a full 3D attributed drainage network. If I pull up a long section of that, there it is. Okay, it's as easy as that to get all those attributes in. If we have a look at the attributes that are in there at the moment, it's got all of our user pit and our user pipe details. So you can have that un un unlimited list. And then of course, the drainage network editor, you can have a lot more automatic attributes just assigned uh, through the network editor. The next step that they have to go through, though, is have a tin. So if we just create a tin uh, called ground, base it on that pipe network, triangulate that, we're all ready to go into the network editor and actually do some stuff with it. So in the network editor, that's a new thing in version 10. We just keep the stored data. All we have to do to automatically assign all of the default 12D attributes to set bit details, pick a tin, that's what we've created, set bit details there. And now when you look at all of the attributes that are assigned to the network, we have all of our user assigned attributes, but we also have all of the default 12D pit and pipe attributes. And of course, later on I'll show you how you can get those on a long section or a plan. Um, so it's usable data that designers can now straight away just go and start running analysis on those existing systems or just do your long section plots or your plan plots. Uh, another beauty of the network editor is obviously the import export functionality to get it back into the spreadsheet. And what the Christchurch City Council said when they were picking up all of this data, they said the GIS guys, this is what we want. They said this is what we want, these are the attributes, these are the values we need to get into the GIS. So in the network editor, what we did is we go import, export, 
and we wrote a customized list file, and you run that. They come in here, and they go, paste. And that was all the information that the GIS guys wanted. So to get from a survey in X, Y, and Z, a couple of pipe inverts, out to a fully um, you know, design-ready uh, network and export out to GIS, that's the sum total. See, New Zealanders can do marvellous things. So uh, certainly you're able to talk to them. You can't buy any beers now for Lane. The time's gone. But if you're just asking for these things, they're all available, all documented, and have videos, I think, and things yep. on how to run them as well. So thank you very much, guys. That was just a quick one to show uh, what sort of things you can add in fairly quickly, in this case with a certain council requirement to get data back out.